one of the strongest standby finish skills. But how should you build LR STR Carnival Gohan? How's it, everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. It is that time again. We have two new units over here in part two of this year's World wide download celebration and we are going to be talking about one of them the lr carnival str gohan we're going to be talking about kind of what this guy is doing and what we think is his best hidden potential so let's go ahead let's waste no time let's jump right on in so as a carnival lr he is a 200 percent lead for kamehameha right uh it's kind of a shame that like we got jiren with multiple 200 percent leads and then this dude and several others throughout this celebration just getting the straight 200 it's not bad kamehameha is a great um category sort of all-encompassing for a lot of hero units but it does seem an, like an interesting choice so his 18 key is greatly raising his attack and and raising defense for the turn causing mega colossal damage to the enemy his uh he's also getting an ally defensive buff for 50 percent for the turn and then on his 12 key he's greatly raising attack and raising defense once more and causing colossal damage with a high chance of stunning enemy on his passive he gets key five and attack and defense 200 percent he gets an additional t key two and 40 percent attack up to 200 percent and defense 30 percent up to 150 with each attack performed so he's one of those he needs to attack whether you actually get the super or not in order to build up his attack and defense to add on to that he has an additional attack 77 percent within the same turn with each attack performed right it's kind of like a an expanded version of that rosa effect so the more you see him attack the stronger his attack is getting again which is why in this weird case with him right you'll see his 18 key will often do a set amount of damage but then his two 12 keys that follow that 18 key will end up being actually showing higher attack numbers and that is because of this additional 77 percent attack that he's getting on top of that he also launches an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18 or more and when key is 25 he gets an additional 58% and launches an additional super attack if 77% or more HP, as well as having effective against all types. When there's another Kamehameha uh, or Earthbred Fighters uh, category ally attacking the same turn, he gets an additional key two and it guards all attacks when you are 77% or, or and if 77% or less when receiving an attack, he has a 50% chance of evading. So right here, two really important things to note. Number one, he has a guaranteed additional super when you get the 24 key, right? And then if you, as long as you are above 77%, you have effective against all types. So this is really helpful with all of those additionals. And then on his, you know, he's also got guaranteed guard as long as you have another Kamehameha or Earth Red Fighters ally on uh, attacking in the same turn. And then, of course, a 50% chance to evade if you fall below 77%. Now, looking at this, he has built-in additionals. He has effective against all types. With the effective against all types, you are often tend to want to lean more into the additionals, right? To take advantage of that. Since, while not the full amount you would get for crit, um, effective against all types, you know, just allows you to hit for type neutral against those uh, type disadvantage fights. Which is still very, very helpful. Um, however, this character kind of breaks that rule, and it's because of what he's doing once we go into standby. So, if I can pull up his standby here. So, his standby does go, uh, standby for five turns, like the Z duo. And during that time, you have to collect seven, uh, Dragon Balls that appear and, and work to fulfill his, um, fulfill his conditions for the finished skill. And this can simply be done from the third turn from the start of battle or when, um, or from his entry turn rather, or when 77% or less HP. Now, once you transform or stand by, you go into the setup for the family Kamehameha. You are unable to attack, but you get 77% attack per superclass ally attacking in the same turn. This is helpful. Um, this is mostly applied to uh, the finished skill. And then, uh, 
And then uh, as long as all allies are super class, he redu reduces damage received by 77%. Also has an additional 50% when receiving an attack per key sphere obtained and guards all attacks. So he's basically invulnerable with all that going on. And then again, a 250%, 58% uh, attack uh, when the finish skill is activated. And the finish skill can be activated at the point that you receive 34 or more uh, charge counts. Um, but each charge charge count is raising his attack 15% temporarily on uh, for the two basic ones. So if you get less than 34, you got 15% charge and ultimate damage. If you get 35, but do not get all of the Dragon Balls, you get a 15% raise um, and cause super ultimate damage. Now, if you collect all of the Dragon Balls on the field and get more than 35, you actually get a 20% raise and cause super ultimate damage and have effective against all types. So while that does sound really nice, um, honestly, I think crit is the way to go for them, right? Effective against all types is really good for a character who is doing multiple supers, but on a singular big attack, crit is what is needed not effective against all types right and so if we actually look at his hidden potential system to see what is most valuable for him you can kind of see why i want to lean towards crit as an str unit he gets a natural 20 uh, in critical hit because he has the five which means he has a natural 40 percent add into that um the uh, any orbs you may want to feed into him, you can increase that up to a 50%, which provides a 50% chance to deal a critical hit. That is what he needs. To make the most advantage of that standby skill, you do want to make sure you have critical hits. Um, because like with the Z-Bomb Duo, like with the Trunks, there is no worse feeling than launching such a massive attack that you put all of that effort into and then not being able to crit. You just, it just, you want the big damage and you want to see the big damage crit. So you definitely want to lean into crit. Now, he does have a, a exclusive skill orbs, but what's strange is those skill orbs actually, at least for the bronze and the silver, um, the silver kind of leans more towards additionals, which is not bad on him, but it's definitely not what you want. You do want to focus on the critical hit. So I would say prioritize critical hit for the primary in his hidden potential system. Um, and then go from there. You can go either evasion or additionals. They're already doing, Gohan's already doing quite a bit of additionals uh, naturally through his passive which will get plenty of attack out. So dodge is not necessarily a bad thing with him. Uh, it could be beneficial, or you can just go for that extra super. So you're guaranteeing that you're getting multiple shots at a super each turn for that extra attack. Either one really works for his sub. That you're gonna see about the same amount of percentage, right? As a, as a STR unit, best you're gonna get is 15, maybe uh, if you fully invest into it, but more likely nine to 11, is if you just write it as your sub for dodge. And then the same goes for combo attack. So it's, it is worth noting there. So guys, that is it for the video. We have yet another standby finished skill where you have to collect up orbs to make them stronger. Um, and that's kind of why I lean towards crit on their hidden potential. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let us know how did you build your LR STR Carnival Gohan. Let us know what you think is the best build in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.